Hey YouTube, welcome to another one of my cooking videos, otherwise known as Cooking for the Culinarily Challenged, and we actually are kind of cooking, kind of not cooking. Today we're going to get you a little bit tipsy. Uh, recently we just did a 4th of July barbecue video in which we had a lot of friends over and asked them some pretty deep and heady questions, and we also had a lot to drink. And from that video we got a lot of questions about what it was we were drinking and how to make them. So, for this video, I thought I'd take you through those drinks. Now, before we get started, this will take a few tools that you'll need to have in your kitchen. First, you're going to want to have your shaker. This is your cocktail mixing basics. And this one is, instead of having the cap, you just put the cup on top and shake. It's my favorite. You want to have a nice sharp knife on hand. Bar spoon for mixing deep down in the glass without stirring up the top. For one of our drinks, we will require the use of a muddler, and I will show you how to use that in just a moment. And the strainer. What is that, you might ask? You'll see in just a moment. Okay, so we're going to be making a mango margarita. We're going to be making a blood orange mojito, and we're going to be doing a vanilla pomegranate martini, and they're all super simple. One more thing before we get started is... A lot of these drinks can be made with fresh fruits instead of the flavorings that I'm going to be using today, but I was mixing on a budget and I was in a hurry. So I'm going to make it the way we made it then and let you add your own additions. So let's get shaken. Okay, so the first drink we're going to make is our vanilla pomegranate martini. Now this one I kind of just made up on my own based off of, I think it was a Real Housewives episode that Jay saw and he went, mmm, vanilla pomegranate martini and I went, Psst, easy, I can do that. So, we're going to start with our vanilla flavored vodka and fresh pomegranate juice. One thing to note, you can get this in raspberry flavored pomegranate juice, blueberry flavored pomegranate juice, and a whole bunch of others. We've made a really awesome one with blueberry pomegranate that was so delicious. But we're going to start off with our vanilla vodka. We're going to go right into the shaker, three ounces. So each one of these little shot glasses is an ounce and a half. Here's our three ounces. And now our pomegranate juice. We're going to do four ounces. So there's an ounce and a half, ounce and a half, four ounces. Okay. Also could have done it in this little guy, but however you want to do it. Okay, now we need a little bit of ice. Probably should have had it in my shaker already. Put our cap on. And shake till the metal feels too cold to touch. Is there any special dance we do in shaking? You have to put on your Carmoranda, Carmoranda fruit pack while you do it. Now, the drinks I make tend to be of the super sweet variety because Jay likes his drinks to be so sweet you can't taste any alcohol in it. I like my drinks fruity like I like my men. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, we're ready to go. We've got our strainer on top, right into the glass. We can have the glass pre-chilled. Uh, you could garnish the rim with whatever you like. I dropped a couple of fresh blueberries in there and they sink right to the bottom and look delicious. And there is our vanilla pomegranate martini. How easy was that? Anybody can do that. Let's take the taste test. Oh, delicious. Cheers. Okay, next we're gonna do our mango margarita. Now, for most of us, margaritas are as simple as tequila, margarita mix, stir, and done. But we're gonna make something slightly more complicated. It takes a few components, but it's super easy to do. And it tastes really, really yummy. Yeah, so we've got orange juice, We've got my mango puree. This is where you could actually puree your own mango and use fresh fruit. And I'll bet you the taste is probably much better. We have simple syrup. This you can make at home super easy with just sugar and water. Uh, multiple recipes are out there on the internet. It was easier for me just to buy it. Because you were hosting a lot of people. So. Yeah. Tequila. Mmm. And this is Patron Citronage. It, you could also use Cointreau or any of the other orange flavored liqueurs out there. Uh, but this one was super good and it made for a really nice drink. Yummy. 
So let's get started. So we are going to first prepare our glass. And what is that? This is a lime. Yeah. One of our components. I forgot to tell you we need it. Okay. So let's half our lime. And I'm going to take the freshly cut half and run it around the rim of the glass so we get the lime juice on there. Okay, and we've got some cocktail sugar that is lime flavored and we are going to dip the edge in the sugar. Ooh, pretty. Yeah. I like my drinks like my men pretty. <laughs> It's just getting weirder as it goes on. Okay. Wait, wait till I get to the good stuff. So, we can also drop a couple of ice cubes in there because we're doing this on the rocks. Mm, it's enough. Okay. So, now we're ready for the drink. We're going to start with two ounces of tequila. Do you need ice cube in your container? Yes, I do. You're right. Ice cubes in the container. Put ice cubes in the shaker first. It's it colder? Well, not only that. You don't have to drop your ice cubes into a bunch of liquid and have it all splash out. Okay. Okay. Two ounces of tequila. Here we go. We're finally on to it. There's an ounce and a half. Now what happens if you accidentally put too much alcohol in your drink? You mean like I do all the time? Oops! <laughs> okay. We need one ounce... That'll do too. One ounce and a half of our citronage, which is one shot here. Now these are not exact measurements, so if you happen to put in three ounces of tequila instead of the two ounces, like I said, oops. Okay, we want the juice of half a lime. And yes, there are easier ways to squeeze limes, but this is the way I do it. There are harder it. ways to squeeze limes also. Yes, I know. I could put it in my armpit or between my knees. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, so we've just about got all the juice out of our lime. Hang on, I'm going to pow right in the sink. Okay, now we need two ounces of orange juice. And then two ounces of our mango puree. If you want to make this drink blended, I would use all the same ingredients, but instead of shaking it, leave out this liquid mango puree. Buy fresh mango, cube it up, and freeze it. So when you go to put it in the blender, instead of using ice cubes, use your frozen mango. Okay, top on our shaker. Drain it right into the glass. Didn't fill it up. Filled it up enough. We have one delicious mango margarita. Cheers. Okay, now we're probably the one that intimidates people the most, which is the mojito. I know I had to take several tries at it before I got one that I liked. And there are people out there who have their own mojito recipes and people who are purists who will literally probably leave a lot of cursing comments on this video. Too bad this is the way I'm making it. Okay, so for our mojito, the first technique you have to learn is how to muddle. So we're going to take our little half a lime right there and we're going to cut it down into reasonable sized chunks okay. and because our glass right now is a little bit small we're just going to use a couple of them right there so let's just use the two and you're going to use about anywhere from 6 to 12 mint leaves I like more because I like the mint flavor where did you get that really nice mint? it came out of our garden uh, which I took care of and grew. So this is actually a chocolate mint. Ooh. Okay, so two, there's four, six, eight, ten, twelve mints in my glass. Ha 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 ha. 
Okay, and the top of the mint sprig, we are going to save as a garnish. And just pick that right off. Save that for other drinks. Off it goes. And here's what our muddler's for. We're going to drop that right down into the glass, and we're just going to bruise the mint to let the oils out. And here's where some people go up, get upset because you're not supposed to crush the mint. It smells really good. Oh yeah. I mean, and it's just like shoot down to that glass. You want to get uh, get the lime juice out and let it mix with the mint. Okay. So once we've got that, we are done. And I have to issue apologies in advance. This drink was so popular that we completely went through two bottles of rum. So we're gonna play pretend. This is our rum. Okay. It is. Stop looking at me like that. All right. So if I remember, it was. Three ounces of rum, and here we're going right into the glass. We don't need our shaker. Oh, there's an ounce and a half. Three ounces. Okay. Now, we did blood orange mojitos. Ooh. For that, the traditional mojito uses simple syrup. This is where you get your sweetness from. We opted instead of doing this to use the Torani because we could add any flavor to it that we wanted to. Now we chose blood orange this time, so we're going to use two tablespoons of this in the glass. You can go more or less. In fact, I think I'll only go one this time. I think the cat wants a drink. Yes. It's a pretty good drink. Okay. So we're going to stop for a second. Use our bar spoon. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean. The bar spoon. We're going to mix that up. Now, is this Luke Skywalker's favorite drink? It's because it seems like you're making it in his glass. Well, it's hot on Tatooine. Where do you think this drink came from? All right. Generally, you want to use smaller ice cubes, but we're going to partially fill the glass. I'm going to give it about four. And then, the finish to this drink, which is club soda. You can use any sparkling water you want, but generally club soda is what's used, and you fill the top of the glass. And those of you who have made Italian sodas before will recognize that this is pretty much an Italian soda with rum and mint in it. Okay. Make sure you get all the sweetness on the bottom up to the top. Garnish with your mint spray. Salute. That is a delicious blood orange almost mojito. So out of the three drinks, which is your favorite? Oh, this one for sure. The mojitos? Mm -hmm. I tend to like the martinis. Yeah, well, they're all flexible too. So yeah. if you like it less sour, less minty, change it to your liking. They're very forgiving drinks and very delicious during the summertime. So happy fourth, YouTube.